guys, it's Hannah. So today's video is going to be a monthly favorites for the month of May. May has been one of the best months of my life. Um, some, okay, I'll just start with my first favorite. My first favorite and my most exciting thing that's happened to me probably in my entire life. I got engaged to the love of my life and my best friend. You guys have probably seen him on here before. His name is Michael. Um, I'm so happy. If you guys want me to make like wedding videos, like planning my wedding and like my proposal story, whatever, like videos with Michael, let me know because I would love to do that, kind of track my process just for my own like personal, like I can look back on it and remember all the good times. Oh, my hair is forever disgusting. Anyway, um, so yeah, my ring is my, it's going to be my favorite for the rest of my life. So I'm obsessed with it good even though I kind of picked most of it out but you know if you want to know more about that let me know and I will let you know but I'm not gonna bore you guys too much about details if you're not interested in seeing it I can make a whole separate video then I went to Target and got this little ring holder and it's been really really helpful when I have to like take this thing off to wash my face or to do the dishes or something I just pop it right on here so I know nothing's gonna happen to it and it keeps it really nice and safe. So that is all I will really say about my ring because I kind of want to make another video completely on the whole wedding stuff, if you will. I also want to make like a shredding for the wedding series because I do go to the gym quite often and I'm expecting to get more intense about it as I'm preparing for my wedding. So let me know if you guys want to see any fitness stuff like that or whatever. Anyway. We'll just go on to makeup. I'll start with, um, this is the Becca Evermatte Poreless Priming Primer. I just have a sample of it, but I wanted to let you guys know about this product because I have a feeling for the summer it's going to be really amazing. Um, every time I use it, I feel like my makeup just gets glued to my face. Like, it's not something I use every day because it does kind of feel a little um, thick on your skin, but it definitely like takes your makeup and like makes it like paint on your skin like it is amazing so I've really been loving this and then to set my makeup I usually use my NARS powder but it's really expensive and I don't want to use all of it up really quickly so I've been using my NYX HD studio powder and it's basically like the same <coughs> concept it's just a it's a really finely build loose powder that gets up your nose and makes you want to die but anyway, so I'll use this to set my foundation before I put any um, bronzer or whatever on. Woo! Moving on to eyes. For the month of um, May, I pretty... Oops, I got some of that powder on my eyeshadow. So it's not... It looks moldy, but it's really just the powder. Anyway, I have been using these three MAC shadows pretty much every day for the month of May. So the first one is All That Glitters. I've been using this on my lid. The second one is Mythology. I've either been using this all over my lid or on the outer three quarters of my eye. And then to darken it up, I use Antiqued. And the combination of these three is just like such a warm, like shimmery, perfect for summer eye look. So I am obsessed with those three colors together. I've been wearing them pretty much every day. And then as far as mascara, my Benefit Roller Lash is starting to dry out because I've used it so much. And so when that happens, I like to mix mascaras. I kind of like to mix them anyway, but I've been using the Lorac, Lorac, whatever, Cobra mascara in conjunction with this one. And this one's kind of cool because the wand looks like, um, a little cobra head so I really actually like this mascara a lot I don't really know what it is about it that I like it just works really well for my lashes which oh, some mascaras make my lashes really gross so I really do enjoy this with this for lips I've really uh, been liking the Anastasia Anastasia Beverly Hills lovely liquid lipstick so it's in the shade lovely it's really really pretty it lasts all day kind of more on the pink side, not so much on the nude side, but it's kind of like a mauve nude pink. Um, I got mine at Macy's. I'm not a big fan of ordering makeup online so much. I'd rather just go into the store. So when I saw it in Macy's, I was able to swatch it first. 
Okay, so the next thing I'm going to show you is really disgusting, but it is the Loving Tan 2 Hour Express in dark. Um, I have all the other ones I showed you in my haul, like the ultra dark and the regular dark. This is my favorite one. It's so easy to just apply in two hours. And I figured out a way to apply it where my hands don't get gross. Because when I first was doing it, like I used to use the Saint Tropez one, I never had this problem. But when I first started applying this with the mitt, um, my hands would get like streaky and disgusting. Sorry guys, I can't help but flush my bling at you. Anyway, um, so what I do now is I'll take one of these two. This is the Trader Joe's Coconut Body Buddy that, but, bleh, Body Butter. My aunt just gave me this one not too long ago. I love coconut. Anyway, so I either use this one, or she also gave me the Trader Joe's pomegranate body butter a little while back, so I'll use one of these, and I actually slather it all over my hands, my wrists, and my feet right before I tan. And you'd think like, oh, that's going to ruin the tanning, but what it really does is just dilutes it enough so that it leaves a soft wash of color on your hands versus like streaky clumps and knuckles. And then I also use a little makeup brush. I saw Jacqueline Hill's video. She uses like a makeup brush to buff it into her hands and knuckles. Amazing. I will never go back again. And then um, the last sort of body thing is the Ole Ultra Moisture In Shower Body Lotion. This stuff smells Mm, so good every time I use it Michael's like <laughs> but the scent stays on your skin for a while so what you do with this um, is you put it on in the shower just for like a minute or two and smooth it off and it leaves like a nice soft silky feel on your body and I'm just obsessed with it um, I used to use it way back in like high school or something and then they discontinued it and then I just randomly saw it at Fred Meyer and I was like Okay guys, so for the song of the month is actually the like winning performance, oh my gosh, from The Voice this year and it's Sawyer Fredericks, Please. I downloaded it immediately, like me and my uh, fiance were drinking some wine while we were watching it and we were both like, when he sang the song and ugh. Anyway, it's called Please, so. So that is Please by Sawyer Fredericks and it is just such a beautiful song like ugh, we definitely want that at our wedding we are just obsessed with it but yeah so those are actually all of my favorites this month guys I've kind of been traveling a lot a lot, a lot. I was in California for at least half the month like but yeah um so I think that's it um I hope you guys enjoyed this video please let me know in the down bar below if you want to see wedding videos because I really really want to make them or like fitness shredding for the wedding whatever because I definitely want to make them but I'm not gonna make them if you guys just totally don't want to see them so definitely let me know how you feel about that ignore the cars in the background and have a great day don't forget to subscribe while you're here guys so we can be friends love you bye